Satya Kumar and I'm the founder of Player Waste Management. Uh, you can call me a plastic pirate. So I will tell you the story. Uh, I, I was living in a circle, a circle of comfort. Outside that circle, I didn't know what is happening on and I didn't care also. Waste littering was uh, common for me and very normal. You know, if someone is throwing the waste or littering the waste, I didn't found anything, you know, uh, bad or something like that. I thought because I have seen the rudimentary system of waste, it didn't feel abnormal to me. And I didn't know anything about waste. So it was the year 2017 uh, when me with my friends uh, visited almost every state of India. We have seen different communities of India who uh, people who are living in a very, uh, community which are living their life in a very sustainable way and in very min minimalistic way. We have seen places uh, where the less uh, waste was less and the place, uh, the place was very beautiful, right? So we somehow concluded waste is a problem. So in 2018, we start, we started beginning. We have started learning about waste. We have broken uh, broken this walls of comfort. Now we have to know. We started gathering information about waste. First thing is we know. The best example is, as you all know, nature. Nature itself is a is a circular. Whatever it creates, it decomposes, and all the uh, creature living in uh, the nature helps in doing that. Like I have visited one jungle, I have seen no plastic waste or something like that there. It was all in a circular way. The waste was this they are uh, decomposed. Whatever which was there, uh, the dead meat or something was uh, taken care of by the scavengers and all. So nature's waste management is circular. We don't require any extra energy to you know do that. Problems comes uh, when human intervention has come. Our earlier system was rudimentary. We were just using it and throwing it. Uh, we didn't know. Uh, so uh, in our journey, we got to know that what is happening with our waste, you know, we are throwing it and eventually it is uh, landing up in a mountain within our city, which is called, which is, which are landfill or in oceans or so with that thing, uh, we have one thing in mind, why waste is a problem. Okay. Waste is there. Why is a problem? So we have concluded this point. So waste has its impact on life on land. It has a uh, impact on marine life, human health, microplastics. If they are polluting soil, they are uh, one of the key factor of for climate change. And uh, waste. If we are wasting anything, we are depending on a source. We are depending upon resources. So that's what the problem and the way we are consuming it, we are generating a lot of waste. Uh, so the problem was waste and its mismanagement. Because uh, I have seen uh, uh, countries in Western, they are, you know, they are clean. Uh, because the waste management system is very, very much set up, you know. But in India, we, our consumption rate is very less as compared to the Western countries. But uh, still, we are not able to uh, manage our waste properly. And second thing was, I got to know about a community called Waste Pickers. Uh, I believe they are the pioneer of circular economy because when I have spoken to them, they were picking up the material uh, which were helpful for recycling. You know, they are the vulnerable community. Uh, they are not considered by uh, the society. And the, the thing is, they have 
lack of knowledge about social and economic scheme of government and their lifestyle is not that much great also the uh, job security was not that much then i got to know about uh, linear economy and waste management so whatever which we are using we are throwing it we are polluting and waste generate uh, we are generating the waste the system was linear so these uh, two three problems uh, i have got and i i, I me along with my team thought we have to work on this problem we have to change from this to that so we have started aya waste management uh aya waste management is an agency which provides waste management services and solutions right now we are working uh, with in two different states so to start with we have spent a day as a waste picker to find what are the difficulties what are the challenges this rag picker faces we have come up with the solutions which can benefit the local ulb plus the rag picker community both uh then we studied about modern waste management solutions what are these simple steps first is uh, segregation of waste as source so when you segregate the waste as source it becomes resource the collection of waste and the processing of waste these all are the process to transit uh, the waste management from rudimentary to modern that's it so uh, we have our uh, sorting station m and m and mrf what happens in that uh, mixed waste comes our people our safai sathi segregate in different fractions and we send it to uh, recycler for recycling so we have trained our workers uh, as you see in august 2021 when we have started our recycling uh, uh, rate was 40% but with uh, experience and the people who has helped us which we have to uh, they have uh, you know uh, told us so we have now increased our recycling rate to 80% rdf which are that is uh, non recyclable are just 20% uh, so uh, we have helped panji and uh, different city with uh, uh, policy also we uh, pandim is a city which are which is uh, segregating its waste in 16 different fraction at source uh, iya waste management is a part of 16 wave policy from the beginning some of the initiative uh, we have uh, taken up was not to treat waste as waste but to treat waste as resource so we have listed along, uh, almost 15 items which are mostly how used in households and uh, we incentivize people if they segregate their waste and bring it to us we incentivize people for doing so so ha uh, our efforts has made panjim into a zero waste landfill city and circular city uh, where if you find you will find no landfill in uh, panjim and all the waste of panjim has been utilized uh, so the next question was uh, we have successfully managed the waste but how to reduce the waste and how to give values to those waste which don't have value that much so we have started our uh, sg called sundari in sundari we upcycle uh, products we have upcycle uh, cloth bags we have upcycle tube waste rubber waste into different products uh, then we have started plastic pirate program in association with one earth foundation uh in that we focus on ocean bound plastic marine and riverine plastic mangrove restoration and plastic recycling so we have uh, you know contacted fishermen community telling them that you don't have to throw your thermocol or its fishing net waste to uh oceans in spite you gave us we are taking the waste and we are recycling it and we are making product out of it 
uh, we have started center for circularity center of circularity for circularity is a place uh, where uh, you can talk about sustainability waste management plastic recycling innovation and technology so uh, we have made some product out of uh, mlps and uh, multi layer plastics and also the waste which we are segregating at segregating at uh, our mrf so that's it from my side uh, thank you very much